here's exactly how to grow a big audience online without having to use social media. Are you trying to build an audience online using social media and just not getting any results? Don't worry because you are not alone. Despite what the social media gurus will tell you, it's not the best way to grow an audience online by using social media. And that's not to say that people can't do it. Yes, of course, you can build a big audience online using social media. It's just that it's not the best way and it's not the easiest way and it's not the fastest way. And today I'm going to show you what is. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less, Manifest More movement. I help creators and change makers manifest a massive audience and transform millions of lives by creating a magnetic movement using my proven dream business framework. I have started lots of businesses online and a lot of them have built very big audiences. I have started a lot of businesses online and lots of them have built very big audiences. And you know where I built those audience from? Not from social media. And that's not the case that I don't have social media presences. I definitely have a presence on social media. And I think it's very valuable to have a presence on social media to engage, to be sociable, to have conversations with your audience and to share status updates and build a deeper rela relationship with your existing audience. I just don't think it's the best way to go to build an audience in the first place because although it might seem easy, there's actually much easier places. So why shouldn't we use social media first and foremost to build an audience? I'm going to share some of the reasons with you today. The first good reason is because you don't own your own social media channel. Any day you could get your account shut down and if you've only built your entire business using one social media channel, that is a very risky business model. What I like to do instead is put all of my assets onto a blog post on my website and from there, copy and paste, upload and share the information to social media so I get the best of both worlds. I get to own the asset on my blog post but also put it on social media as well. Another reason is that a small fraction of your traffic will come from social media. Did you know that only about 5% or less of your social media following will actually see your posts in the first place and from those people some of them won't even choose to read your post and from there most of them won't even click the link if there actually is a link back to your website so you won't hardly get any traffic from social media and that is the norm it is the norm to have less than five percent of your traffic from social media in total social media is also not a very good place for introverts if you are an introvert like me then you might struggle to build an audience online on social media it might be better to go where the introverts go and I'll show you where that is in a second because social media is a very social place. You might have to have a lot of small talk, a lot of conversations that are not even about your brand and to people who are creators and introverts like me, this can feel very difficult. Another problem with social media for most people is it is a complete time suck. When you go on there intending to post a post on your own social media profile and you end up dropping into the scroll hole and surfacing two hours later, you know that social media has its grip on you and it's very difficult to build a thriving business when you are addicted to social media yourself. Thankfully, I am not addicted to social media and I don't even really like using it at all. So you won't even catch me on social media in the first place. And although I only work a few hours a day, I am very, very productive and get so much done. In fact, most people wonder how I get so much done and it is because I don't waste my time on social media and I don't watch the TV unless it's two or three evenings at the weekend. 
I don't do these things. So when I'm focused and at work, I'm at work, I'm creating content primarily. So if we don't build our businesses on social media, then where on earth can we build our audiences online? And I'm going to share my favorite places with you now. So the first place and the best place in my opinion is Google search. So that means appearing in the search on Google. Did you know that most people, if they have a problem, they won't go to social media. Imagine if you had a problem, say for example, you had a rash on your skin. Would you choose to go to Facebook to try and find a solution? Would you try and go to Instagram or Twitter? You probably wouldn't. What would you do? You'd go to Google. You'd search in Google. So that is where people go who want to be helped, who have problems. And if you have a solution for somebody, I suggest you show up in the place where people are going to look for a solution. And that means that you don't need to go looking for them. They will find you. So you just need to put the content out there. Google will pick it up and Google will show it to people who are looking for it. And in my latest program, Dream Business Movement, I show you exactly how to get on the first page of Google to the top of Google to rank highly in Google so that lots of people find your website and find the solution to their problem. So Google is my absolute favorite way and I get between 49% and 71% of all of the traffic to my blog posts from all of my businesses from Google search. So it is highly recommended that you put blog posts out there. Even if you prefer to create videos or you prefer to create podcasts, I highly recommend that you put them within a blog post itself. You embed it in a blog post, get them transcribed because that is where most people are still searching. They still go to Google to find the answer to their problems. So where else can you go to build an audience? How about a podcast? Start a podcast. This is a great way to build up a loyal following. And although it is still quite tricky to get found via your podcast, it's not impossible. And the people who tend to find you via podcast will be the most loyal people and they will buy the most from you. And it's a great way to deepen your relationship with your existing audience. So I highly recommend that you start a podcast. Since I start, started mine a few months ago, Manifest Business Success, I absolutely love it. And I'm getting some great feedback from it from people who are very engaged with my podcast, so it's definitely working for me. Another great way to build up an audience is to appear on video search engines. So what's a video search engine? An example of a video search engine is YouTube. It's like Google, and in fact, it's owned by Google, but it's the place where people go to find video content. So instead of searching for blog posts, they go to search for videos that have the answer to their question. And in fact, vid uh, YouTube itself is not just a search engine, it's also a content discovery engine, which means that in fact, most people don't just go onto YouTube to search for information, they go onto YouTube to discover videos and to watch videos that are recommended by YouTube because YouTube knows what kind of content they like. So they just click on YouTube and on the homepage, there's new videos that they've never seen before and they simply start watching. It's as easy as that. So it's a search engine and a content delivery engine. And the more videos you post to YouTube, the more people will see your content and the bigger your audience will get over time because your content is evergreen, which means it lasts on and on and on. YouTube keeps showing it to other people and more often in the future. So it's so much better than a social media account where you post once and within a couple of hours, it's gone almost forever. Whereas on YouTube, the longer it's on there, the more it's seen often. Another way to build an audience is to start appearing on image search engines. So what's an image search engine? It's a collection of images that take you to content on someone's website. So it's a bit like Google, only instead of seeing the text, the title of the name of the blog post, you see an image 
with the title and the name of the blog post or you might just see an image of a product and a great example of an image search engine is Pinterest and I have got so much traffic from Pinterest one of my websites has actually generated over 4 million page views from Pinterest so it's definitely not to be ignored if you are somebody who fits into the niches that generally get shared on Pinterest. A lot of people think that Pinterest is a social media platform but it's not. People don't go to Pinterest to be sociable. They don't go there to leave comments and to chat with other people. They go there to find content. It's a content search engine. It's also a content discovery engine just like YouTube is. So people go there to just um, if they're bored and they just go and find content on there which is fantastic for content creators and also introverts who don't want to have to engage with people to start with. They just show up where people are looking. Another great place to build your audience, in fact I think it is the best and the most essential, is an email list. An email list is so much better than social media because when you send your emails, um, aside from the fact that it might end up in the spam folder which isn't very often, 100% of people who subscribe to your email list will actually get your email. Whether or not they look at it is not 100%, usually that's around about 20%, but even if they're not opening your emails, they're definitely seeing you in their email inbox. So you're keeping top of mind with your email subscribers and building up your audience and your email list is far more likely to buy from you than your social media following. So it's, it's very, very advisable to build up an email list and an email list is not the first place that you would go to build an audience. You would need to find your audience somewhere else first and then encourage them over to your email list with a free gift. And similarly, if you are building a community like a Facebook group or a forum or some kind of other group or community, then you would also need to find them most of the time somewhere else and then encourage them over to join your community. So a community is also a great way to deepen that relationship and to encourage people to buy your products. And then finally, the best way to build an audience, although one you don't have a lot of control over, is word of mouth marketing. If you can make the best content that you could possibly make and encourage your message to go viral then word of mouth is free and it also doesn't require any of your time whatsoever so if you can create viral content then that is going to be the best way that you've got of growing your audience and I created a content piece called how to go viral online and reach millions with your message so click the blog post surrounding this content and there will be a link to that within that blog post so you can go and check that out. It's a very, very valuable post and I don't want you to miss it. It's absolutely fantastic. So now that you know how to build an online audience without social media, would you like to learn how to build a tribe of millions by growing a magnetic movement? I have created a workshop called Moving Millions and in this workshop I explain exactly how to start a magnetic movement in just 30 days and you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash millions or clicking the link surrounding this content piece and now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.